All right, guys, here we are on the exterior of the house, and I'm just going to pan around and kind of give you a uh, view of the neighbors. Nice and quiet here on a cul-de-sac. And, uh, you know, I mean, I think everybody keeps their house up reasonably uh, nice throughout. Yard's cut, no trash in the yard, really. Maybe a little moss on, you know, someone's uh, um, siding over there, but that's okay. But everything really looks pretty tight and right on the court. So it's certainly what you want to see. Um, let's kind of start uh, here on the side of the house. Um, just letting the owners kind of get uh, down the road. Uh, they're clearing out for the weekend because it's going to be non-stop showings here. Um, you do have oversized gutters on this house. Um, so that's certainly good to see. And this gutter, uh, this downspout, uh, does uh, go underground. And I'm assuming that it's gonna daylight probably somewhere out here. I have not found that, um, but that's good to see. I mean, you want, you want to have good, um, you know, getting water uh, away from the house, even though the grading here really, um, you know, looks pretty good on the, you know, sides and back uh, of the house, uh, certainly. Uh, this is this is pretty minimal, but you see maybe a little bit of spalling brickwork. Um, you know that's nothing that I would certainly repair at this point, um, but just something to kind of be uh, conscious of. You do have a vent uh, over here. And I'm going to assume that that belongs to the uh, bathroom uh, van. Again, a little bit more spalling brickwork on the chimney. Not uncommon to see. Some moss growing. Good to hit things with the power washer. But you have a lot of trees uh, around. So that's kind of to be expected. And we have had, you know, a lot of rain here today. So you will kind of notice some puddles of water as we go. Um, you know, certainly I can't get a, a read on precise uh, lot lines from here. Um, I can probably you know, learn more from, um, you know, getting online and seeing what I can see. Uh, but you do have a creek uh, down here. I would imagine that your lot line probably gets pretty close to that uh, down there. I don't know that for, for certain, but uh, it's certainly something to take a look at. Not really, you know, given the slant, it's not really usable space. Uh, you know, what's here, um, you know, on the, the side yard and, uh, you know, within the fence, um, you know, that would be really your usable uh, yard space. It'd be good to get a... Um, downspout extension there you see a little bit of puddling uh, right here not a big deal um, there is your hose bib it would seem um, however let's see if this is connected no it's either to me this does looks like something where you would plug in a um, a hose to it and basically extend uh, your existing hose bib here and it'd be like kind of a hose reel. So that, that looks like what that is. And everything I can see on the vinyl siding looks pretty good. Nothing is kind of jumping out at me. Um, maybe except that looks like a little crack perhaps but really not that big a deal and again you got another uh, buried uh, uh, pipe here which is good and this is the area that's underneath the big deck and 
Uh, and we're back uh, looking at the family room downstairs. And they have a little bit of storage, uh, outside storage, um, you know, perhaps for their lawn and garden stuff. Uh, I don't know if those convey or not. Um, certainly they're not attached to the house. And here's kind of another look at the deck from this level. Um, everything that I can see looks pretty good. Um, again, I haven't crawled in here and looked at every support post, but, uh, you know, just overall looks to be fairly well cared for. Uh, however, uh, you know, it'd probably be a good idea to hit it with, um, you know, some sealer and power wash it. Uh, looks like it is kind of coming due for that. Actually, I have another little area over here uh, with a picnic table set up. have some composters uh, over there, too. And... Not really too much to see in here, um, but just uh, another big shed. All right, let's uh, circle around front. Oh, let's get a little more detailed look at this equipment. Um, again, you have another downspout coming out. Um, it would be nice to get this water moving that way versus back towards the house. Um, you know, you can see some uh, erosion uh, right here, right there, um, kind of getting underneath uh, the compressor. Um, again, I couldn't pull a date code off of here um, I don't think that this is a carrier unit. Uh, it's mated to a carrier unit inside, but you know, it's, it's older. Um, again, running the old type of refrigerant. There's another look at the radon remediation system. And here's where they have their hands and it's good to see you got some drainage here catching the water coming down the driveway certainly thoughtful garage doors have been replaced So these are all nice insulated doors. Um, you have newer Chamberlain garage door openers on both doors, it looks like. And here I'll give a kind of a look at the walkway and walk up to the house. So you can kind of see what's going on. Brickwork looks to be in reasonably good shape. Um, did see a little bit of settling going on kind of right through here. Um, pretty typical to see. Um, yeah, the best thing to do is just kind of replace that mortar. Um, and again, a little bit of uh, spalling brickwork in places, just more or less for your information to kind of keep an eye on. A little chip down in that corner too. So.
and that is a look at the house.